The screen visible on the device display during normal mode is called the default display. It contains a mimic display with dynamic representation of the current switching states of the switchgear and can also dynamically display operational values. Using the display editor, we now want to add a text field to the default display, showing the code letter of the currently active parameter group. To do this, we need to evaluate the indication group B. If this is pending, group B is active. However, if it's not pending, then, in our example at least, group A must be active. As with the CFC editor or the configuration matrix, you can open the display editor directly in the device editor. This then automatically loads the data required to edit the selected display. The structure of the display editor provides a nice, clear overview. A range of toolbars allow you to work quickly and easily. In the center, you will see the drawing area, which mirrors the image of the display. This is scalable in several stages. First, insert an element of the type user text in the image. To do this, go to the value display library and click the symbol A text. As soon as you place the mouse pointer over the shown display, it turns into a pencil. Click at any point in the display. A selection box shows you the display texts of all the information routed to the default display as destination in the configuration matrix and whose states are suitable as a criterion for displaying a user-defined text. Select the indication group B. In addition to the code letter of the group, we still also want the word active to be displayed. Simply type this into the pop-up text field. At the moment, only a two-digit bit is displayed as the group. One zero if group B is active or zero one if group B is not active, meaning group A is active. So you need to assign zero one to the letter A and the value one zero to the letter B. This means that the code letter of the currently active group is displayed in accordance with the current value of the bit pattern. Now move the text and the placeholder for the code letter to a suitable spot within the default display. This is a simple drag and drop process. A grid helps you to position the elements. You can now check the overall image by zooming out of the display. Save your default display and close the display editor.